The Yearly Spectral Layers upgrade is out. This new version is not a small upgrade. In this video I will share my thoughts on the improvements and the new modules of Spectral Layers 12. Over the last few versions, Spectral Layers has become more and more a stem unmixing tool, next to being a very capable restoration app. This trend is not stopping anytime soon, because there have been done a lot of improvements and additions to the stem unmixing features of Spectral Layers. The whole song unmixing stems module has been improved, and it does become quite impressive. Here's a loop I mixed down and unmixed. Let's compare with the original tracks. These results are excellent, but this is of course a very open sounding mix and results will, as always, vary a lot with how dense the original mix is. The drum unmix module has also been improved. This is interesting because the ReStem app, formerly known as ReBeat app, had the best drum unmix features in my opinion. But it sounds like Spectral Layers is now just as good. One added feature for the drum unmixing is the toms layer. Most welcome and this also could be found in the ReStem app as a first. One thing that the ReStem app still has an edge over Spectral Layers is that it can extract drums right away from the music. In Spectral Layers 12 you still do unmix song first and then use the drum unmix on the drum layer. But it feels like this has become a lot faster in Spectral Layers, the overall time it takes won't be that much different. Unmix Instruments is a new module where you capture a solo instrument which then will be used to separate from the full audio. I did not get very proper results with this yet, it works kind of ok, but I found that using normal song on mix worked much better usually. The voice denoise and unmixed noisy speech modules have been improved and there's a new module in the form of voice enhance. For me this feels a lot like a DX Revive Lite version. It can remove and restore a poorly recorded voice by regenerating parts of it. Here's a quick comparison between DX Revive and this new module. This corridor in my studio is also quite reverby and let's de-reverb it. This corridor in my studio is also quite reverby and let's de-reverb it. This corridor in my studio is also quite reverby and let's de-reverb it. The voice enhance was set to 40% and it already can achieve impressive results, but it feels too heavy handed right now. At 2% it's a lot better, but still kind of too heavy process. This corridor in my studio is also quite reverby and let's de-reverb it. But when the recording is this bad, it is a very interesting module to use. And it will probably be refined in the future. 
Other new modules are a voice deplosive module and an unmixed soundtrack module, very welcome when you work in post-production. The new phase rotation is handy when you tend to use something like waves in phase to optimize the phase of conflicting audio tracks. Now if you like this breakdown so far, please make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. There are a few, I think, huge quality of life updates in version 12, because they directly improve my workflow in spectral layers a lot. It starts with the selection you make, it now can easily be resized. One huge quality of life update in spectral layers is one I already requested with the previous version, but it has been implemented only now in version 12. And that is when you select an area you will work on, you can change the fade from process to on process by using your mouse. Simply drag when this icon pops up to get the fade you want. The selection algorithms have been improved, and that means that the frequency, harmonics and transition selection tools now work better. A nice touch is that you now can more easily adjust the actual selection. As a Spectral Layers user, version 12 offers a lot to justify the upgrade price. Spectral Layers also becomes more and more a great alternative and replacement for other restoration tools. It's not quite the replacement yet for DX Revive, but who knows what will happen in the future. Spectral Layers is already a very good alternative to Isotopes RX and more.